because they found out he was COVID-19 positive and they yanked him from the game in that moment, which is just kind of bizarre. And it could happen now in the NFL because as of week six, the NFL started doing game day testing. I'm told they take the sample before the morning meal. So as these offsite PCR tests are done more quickly, and the question is how close are you to the, the nearest lab, you could in theory have the result come back during the game. Well, what did baseball do? They removed him from the game. There's only one problem. When the Dodgers won, there he is out there celebrating without a mask on. Yeah. He just found out he's COVID-19 positive. Baseball said, no, no, you can't go back on the field. He basically said, screw you, I'm going back on the field. And then he tweeted, this is, this is poetry. This is, this is 2020 in a nutshell. Thanks to everyone reaching out. I feel great. No symptoms at all. Just experienced every emotion you can possibly imagine. Can't believe I couldn't be out there to celebrate with my guys. Are you freaking kidding me, Justin Turner? We saw you. I mean, is he going to try the old Eddie Murphy, it wasn't me routine? We saw you and your distinctive red beard. You were celebrating with your team with no mask. And he's COVID-19 positive. He turned the celebration into a super spreader event, Chris. So, you know, the only reason we're talking about this, what we're talking about for two reasons. Number one, I can't believe it happened. Number I can't two, either. The, the number two, the NFL now can't say if there's a guy running around with the trophy in February in Tampa who somehow slipped through the cracks as COVID-19 positive. They can't say, well, we didn't see that coming. No, they definitely can't. You know, I mean, first off, I mean, I, I, I'm sick of this in our culture right now. Like uh, acting like I'm an idiot. I'm, I'm sick of being disrespected that way to where it's like, yeah, don't believe what you saw on TV. I'm going to tweet something out. And now that's the truth. You didn't really see the truth. Like what? Stop playing me like a dummy, whether it's Tom Brady and the, what down it is or this or other things that go on. You're right. It's Bruce the new, Arians. It's Tom new, Brady had nothing to do. It's, Tom Brady had nothing to do with this. It's the new fad of the okay. world. Like, yeah, you know, I'm powerful and, you know, a big deal. And, and we're just you got to take it for what I say. Screw anything you saw in the evidence there. I'm the like, what? Get out of here. Like, don't insult my intelligence. That's stupid. It makes me not want to root for you ever again with that kind of crap. All right. And then. And, like, I don't know, Mike, how did that happen with them being in a bubble? And how do they let that go down? Did the rest of the team know that they were sitting there and he was COVID-19 positive and celebrating with them? I mean, that just, to me, is astounding. I fell asleep in the eighth inning, so I didn't see all of it go down afterwards because I would have loved to have seen the reactions of guys around him and were they, like, a little reluctant to hug him and stuff. I would have loved to have seen that, but I don't know. I can't speak to of it right now. I. I saw some clips of him hugging guys in the oh. dugout. He had a mask on. And and then I, th 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 there's a photo of him. Without you know, the mask. Uh, and video of him without the mask and kissing his wife, girlfriend, whoever it is. I don't follow baseball enough to know, but uh, I don't. I assume she's aware of the fact that he's COVID-19 positive or maybe accepts the fact that she is too. But that's the thing. How does it infiltrate this bubble? And how many other guys are currently in the incubation period? Because they were around him. He's positive. He was shedding virus all day. And, and see, this, this is another sad commentary on where we are right now. People are going to be mad that we're talking about this, Chris. Pe people are going to think that we're, we're showing that we are afraid of the virus, that, that we shouldn't be talking about it. The talk, talking about it is the equivalent of hiding under your bed. Yeah, get out of here. I'm not afraid of the virus. I could care less. I hope I get it. What I am afraid of is getting the virus and then endangering somebody else, okay? So there, I'm sick of that crap from everybody. I'm sick of hearing like, oh, this will probably all go away after the election. Oh, oh, no, it won't. It's going on all over the world. It has nothing to do with just our country or anything. Like everybody get over it. These stupid talking points. By the way, Dave Roberts to the left of yeah. uh, the player. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, he's a cancer survivor. Jeez. And there he is with, with, with no mask on whatsoever. I'll tell you how little I pay attention to baseball. I've already forgotten the guy's name. Is it Justin Hunter? Is that Turner, it? Turner. Turner. See, yeah, I, I, that, I don't know. Yeah. I never even heard of the guy until last night. He's a I'm good sorry. player. I don't watch baseball. Yeah. I'm all in with football. I no longer care about baseball. And you can be mad at me about that. This is a football show. The only reason we're talking about it, Justin Turner. Is it Turner? Turner. Justin Turner did something selfish and stupid, and baseball let him. And the lesson to the NFL is you better be damn sure 
as you get towards your postseason games and specifically the games where there will be major celebrations like the AFC Championship, the NFC Championship, the Super Bowl, you better be sure that, that no one's getting through the cracks who shouldn't be getting through the cracks. And also, we may be getting to a point where there could be, there could be a guy who is yanked from a game, a night game, because the results from the morning PCR test have come back. And I'm asking the NFL, what would you do in that situation? Do you just let it all play out, or do you reach in and say, you, out? That'd be interesting. You know, I, I, I would think they'd have to yank him out. But, I mean, again, we saw Stephon Gilmore have it and whispering into Patrick Mahomes' ears, and he didn't get it. So, uh, but, yeah, that's, that's very risky to, to take that chance to leave him out there. I know that. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.